Hey everyone, on this course, we're going to learn how to build e-commerce website using WooCommerce and WordPress. If you look at this website, it's already been built and amazingly designed. We can see, first of all, this hero image, which is this lady and this tux, that's just a standard hero image. And if we just scroll down a little bit, we will see a little bit about the store and we will see about the category. So if someone want to check for a lady's clothing, they can click for women and it will take them to that specific page. And every page that you see in the menu here, they are custom pages. So every page has been built as a new page. So every page is a new concept, a new design. And we'll look at it. If we just scroll down, you will see that we have a feature product and if I just put my mouse next to it, on top of it actually, it will just change image. So if I just go on top of here, it will change image. You see, it will change image. So let's just scroll down and see more products as well that will have the same effect and more design. As you can see, we have a beautiful design here that we are advertising our uh, collection. So let's say we are advertising our new back collection and we can just have these banners on the website and that's how e-commerce websites always do and if we just scroll down we can shop by category and scroll down more you can see we'll design you and i will just design this beautiful banner together and this all the images by the way will be provided so do not worry about it at the bottom of the page we will have this uh, subscription uh, form which will give the users that whoever subscribe 30%, that's what we just tell them, but you can say it whatever you want. If we just scroll down, we have more icons here and all these icons will be provided as well. And last, we have footer and we will build this together in Elementor. So this footer is a custom build. I'm trying to build all the footers custom nowadays because it will give you much more freedom than a normal footer that come with a design. If we scroll all the way up, we have more pages so the website is not only one page we have more than one page we can click shop and we will see all the shop products so if you look at it here we have uh, this uh, filter by a price we can just just do that and filter it and it will only show us the the price that we specified there so only the price that we specified and if we just scroll down more we can just filter it and limit the items that will be displayed okay so that's our shop page you can browse by category if you want to and if we click woman we will see completely different page which is beautiful you can see this amazing hero image we have and we have sell it off this can be changed to anything you want obviously but we will build together i will not just give you this theme that's the thing about these courses the courses I'm doing, I will not give you a theme. I will show you how to build it so you can build it yourself and you can build any other design you want to. So you will not be limited to what the theme give you. I'm giving you the freedom for you to design whatever you want. Okay, so we have these two beautiful panels that we design. And uh, if you look at it, all these images will be provided and we will go through it one by one. And we have more products to display and more product here as well. We can scroll down more and we have shop by category. We've seen this before and the rest is the same. So if you look at all the pages from here onward, they're all the same because it's, it's better to be consistent from the bottom down. So let's go and check men. You will see that we have a completely different hero image, a different design. If you just scroll down, we have uh, this product for men and from here we have completely different design i mean i try my best to have every page to be unique so every page can be its own website yeah so if you look at it here this is many suit so if you scroll down you will see many suit and many accessories so all these images will be provided as well if we click accessories you will see new design so now you get the concept why i'm going for new design in every page because i want to give the person who's taking this course the freedom to pick and choose yeah so we have this beautiful uh, image and this uh, content on the left 
and if we scroll down you've seen this before we are reusing it because we are in the accessory page and we can reuse it so the beauty thing about this uh, elemental is you can reuse all the elements that you design okay and we will master elementor by the end of the course okay and we have more products here if you scroll down and as i said before from bottom down here they're all the same all the bits so we have that consistency if i click beauty as you can see is a new page so new point new color it's it's amazing what you can do with uh, elementor so if you just scroll down we've seen this before in how it works that's the products and that is it if you just if you scroll down from the bottom down they're all the same as i said before okay let's go back to the home page and i want to show you one cool trick that come with this theme that we're using this theme is the aster theme aster theme is a blank theme you need to build it yourself yeah and that's why i use it because i like to build everything by hand step by step it will give you more creative freedom if we go on top of any of the products we can just click on top of it or we can quick view it so when you quick view it it will show you the product and you can see all the images okay look what happened here when i add products it will automatically be displayed there okay so when i click add to cart it will automatically watch what happened there you see you see what happened it automatically show there that is the modern way of doing e-commerce websites so if i want it, i can just check out or cart view the cart or i can add more if i go on top of this uh, product i can just quick view if i want to without even going inside and add to cart and it will just add there see it will just add there so whenever i'm ready i can just go to checkout and it will just yeah take me straight to checkout and i can just fill my details choose the payment method we all will set up this together so do not worry about it if i want a bank transfer all that we will even have a stripe which i did not install it on this demo but on the real page that we're building we will install a stripe as well so we'll be able to accept credit cards so we can just click continue payment and uh, obviously process the payment through paypal but the customer have to fill all this information that is that's what we're going to learn and if you if you go back one one more time to the checkout page you can see is a distraction free so if you look at it here it only shows you the logo and the page there's no other link is because we don't want a customer to say oh i don't want to buy this product and go back and check another link we need the customer to be isolated in a way that they can only check out the product yeah it's, it's kind of solid trick so it's, it's really good and this feature is, is basically uh, one option that we need to turn on on astra theme and it's, it's amazing what you can do with astra theme and elementor that's all about it thanks for watching